Hello, organizational structures are some of the more challenging aspects within business. Maybe because of the word, structure is no different, as I've said before, about a building. And you create a building. Organizations are a collection of people producing a product or service. Organizational structures, how best to coordinate all of these people, we often think they're people, but all of these people or processes, in the most efficient and effective way so that you can accomplish objectives. And so there's different ways to structure organization. There's the simple structure, the matrix structure. Most of those have been identified, these types of structures, 30, 40, 50 years ago. They're certainly not applicable or appropriate in today's globally competitive work environment. And that requires us to think differently, to act differently, and to structure an organization di differently. The first thing that we should learn, there's four. The first thing that we should learn about structures today is they're much more fluid. Fluid, which means they're going to be changing continually. Assess and adapt is the key terms that we use in just about anything related to business. You need to assess the organization, assess the industry, assess the customer. Then you need to adapt to the realities of that day. Long-term plans are no longer long-term, or if they are, they're certainly 18 months to two years. Long-term plans of five and 10 years simply just have gone out of style. They just lose their relevance after 18 months or two years. And that's because the competitive edge, that thing that you do different than your competitors, doesn't last as long as it used to. So the first thing is to be much more fluid. The second thing that we know and that we've understood about um, organizations today is what we call limited financial capabilities. In the past, when there wasn't much competition within an industry, an organization could add personnel. And now what we're seeing is they don't add so much as take away. And so because of that, you have limited capabilities. You're constantly looking at reducing your costs, especially your labor, labor costs, which can generally be about 60% of your business's operations. They're quite large. And so to compete against those countries that have lower costs and fewer benefits, lower taxes and minimal regulations, you're going to have to figure out a way that you can limit your financial capabilities. That means when you're creating a structure, that structure is often going to be uh, much more limited. Third aspect about organizational structures today is outsourcing. Again, back in the day when you created an organization, you would look at different departments and different divisions. and You would move people from one department to another. Now we're looking at where can we eliminate divisions and departments groups and individuals and move them to outsourcing. We want to outsource because it's often cheaper. So you pick those types of skills and knowledges that can be better done outside your organization. And as a result, you can lower your costs. Here's some examples. Even hospitals are outsourcing the reading of their x-rays. Um, that can go to more low wage countries and it saves a considerable amount of money. Accountants too. At the end of, day, of the day, at some CPA firms, they send a lot of their materials and information to India and other countries. And while the accounting from the United States, the employees go home. In India, they're calculating returns. And when the employees return to their office the next day in the United States, they can have all the information from India that has been coalesced and even recommendations submitted. Little time is wasted, and you can move through either tax returns or monthly audits much quicker. Quicker, You can also make more money because the turnaround time is much quicker. So outsourcing what you can certainly reduces the cost. Last but not least is part-time workers and consultants. One of the best ways that you can manage your costs in an organization is to match your revenues with your expenses. That absolutely can manage costs because if your revenues go down, then you can very easily reduce your expenses. And the way you do that is part-time staff and consultants. So if you have sales that are going up, you hire more part-time workers. If you have sales going down, you actually have fewer part-time workers. Less than 50% of the people employed are in a full-time job. It's the first time it's ever happened because we're trying to, and as we create an organizational structure, one that relies much more on transitory type employees rather than permanent. That means no benefits or lower benefits and more monies for an organization. So the great structures that we often think about in organizations are changing quite rapidly. Today, they're much more fluid. We, they have limited financial capabilities. So they're often smaller. 
We're looking at outsourcing much more than we ever have so that you can, again, reduce the burden on the organization in terms of number of employees. And lastly, part-time workers and consultants so that we can match revenues with expenses and we can match the number of employees we have with the work that needs to be done at that given point in time. Enjoy the day, everybody. Great talking to you.